So this is the Motenergy 0913 brushless motor that I'm going to be installing into this Yamaha motorcycle. It was a 360 twin, so a pretty small bike, so I'm going to have to make sure I cram everything in there as tightly as possible. So I'm going to start with a cardboard mock-up of where the motor is going to go. Uh, in general, I want to keep it as close to the pivot point on the rear swing arm as possible. I want to draw a line forward to that pivot point that is an extension of the rear swing arm. That will help me find the center of where the sprocket's going to go, and it'll help me to figure out where the bolts should go for the motor so that they're out of the way of the sprocket and the chain line. Next, I'm going to measure the offset of the motor sprocket to the motor face so that I can put the motor plate in a position that the front and rear sprockets will line up. So on this lower tube, I've marked where the chain line is relative to the rear sprocket, and I've welded on a mounting tab for the motor plate with the same offset as what the front sprocket is relative to the motor face. Make sure your motorcycle is level, and make sure your motor plate is plumb before finish welding any of your motor plate tabs. Here I'm going to make a mark where the sprocket will be if I leave just about an eighth inch gap in between the edge of the motor and the swing arm pivot. So when you're positioning this front sprocket, I tie a string around the rear sprocket on both the left and right side, and on the top and bottom of the sprocket. I put a larger sprocket on the rear to get the gearing where I need to be, so you need to make sure that your chain line will work with where your motor is at. Assuming that this frame is straight and the wheels are properly aligned, I can use this string as a reference point to make sure that my motor plate is parallel to the rear sprocket as well. So I'm going to move my front sprocket up and down until it looks like I have a similar clearance above and below the pivot point where the chain's going to go. And I'll check this again with the rear springs completely compressed. So I've established where my center point is, I know where my bolt holes are going to go, and I know where I'm going to attach the mounting tabs to locate the plate on the bike. I'm going to reuse the plate I had on this bike from a previous conversion, but I need to drill new holes for the motor bolts. The measurements for those holes are available on the mechanical drawing, which is also available online. Here's the plate in place with the motor, with just enough clearance for the foot peg, the rear brake, and the terminals. 